that ability to open up a particular file I have on my main icon screen and work with that file. So I'm going to go down to um, Start. Click on that. I'm going to open Microsoft Word. We open up a Word file with my, uh, and I'm going to start calling up. I'm going to call the keyboard. And the keyboard comes up on the screen. And I can literally, start, literally, start typing. There go. I'm going to change the font size in a second because that made it a little too small for our demonstration purpose. And typing the word touch sports. Showing you we can work with the keyboard and uh, create something in, in, in some type of document, that being word. Now, I want, to, I want to save that. I want to save that, so I'm going to go to a file location, which is right here on the icon. And hold up, I can open up a series of files. And I can save that information to a series of um, file folders and print that off or use whatever you need to do or open them up again at a later date and use what I put together with regards to a Word, Word document. And that all comes in, as I said, standard in the, uh, the package. The icon toolbar, as you can see here, basically as I mentioned before, um, we have a pen mode, we have a highlight mode, um, we have the open file mode, we have a highlight mode, eraser, thicknesses of the lines which I did for annotation before, um, color, different colors I have for um, usage on whatever color I want to do for highlighting or annotation, uh, complete erase of the information on top of the highlight mode, save to a file, a freeze frame, I can freeze the frame on a PowerPoint presentation or any type of presentation, and my keyboard. And those are basically what a lot of people want to do with an interactive product. Uh, a full interactive whiteboard package, which are very popular in the marketplace right now, you have to spend a wide, a long time utilizing and learning the capability of what a whiteboard can do. And most people just want to do what I showed today, in their, in their presentation or in their curriculum teaching. Uh, they want to highlight information to the class that they want to do that. Uh, the classroom is a very fluid, for example, the classroom is a very fluid uh, place. Lots of things are happening um, in, in the classroom. There are four walls in the, and utilize those four walls are utilized with projects and all kinds of things that are happening and they change pretty much on a weekly and monthly basis. The you know, our interactive projector, the LCX IT 2000, has the ability to come in and do what we just did within the last few minutes of my demonstration. And when I'm done, I can turn it off and utilize the same wall space for something else. With a dedicated whiteboard system, that is just that wall space is now dedicated to the interactive or whiteboard scenario, and you have no other. Um, you can't write on sometimes with a mark, regular marker or whatever. And if I have space as a limitation. My interactive projector can be put away and, and you can move on and utilize the space that was taken um, using for a, a course. I can use this projector on a traditional pull-down screen, a whiteboard if I have an existing whiteboard in the classroom, or this green wall that we're using here today for demonstration purposes. So it's very fluid in its approach to being able to present information and material and to teach with. Um, in a classroom or a presentation scenario. Click off the keyboard. And of course, you want to say changes, the answer is no. And we're back to my main screen again. My orientation is to my right-hand side right now. For example, if I don't want my, uh, my toolbar on the screen, I can literally go and clip off the toolbar, and the toolbar isn't there at all. Remember, this off the screen, my toolbar shows up. If my orientation is over to my uh, to my left, which is turning around this way, I can bring the toolbar over to do an orientation that way. So again, very flexible with regards to positioning of the information you need to work effectively work uh, a proper interactive presentation. Okay. 
our LC SIP 2000 package comes, as you see here, with projector, the pen, annotation pen, the annotation wand, which is extendable, which I had showed before on that. The wand and the pen come with a bag that comes in there. And there's also what they call light pen software, which is the ability to annotate or set up to calibrate the screen surface that you're going to use before you start in the presentation. The projector is hooked up to the computer via an HD15 computer VGA cable and a USB cable. With both computer and projector are now one in your presentation or teaching uh, environment on that. The wide angle lens, one to one, as mentioned before. So if you want a six foot image, again, projector has to be six feet away. Eight foot, eight feet away, very simple. One to one, screen size versus throw distance on that. Projector itself is about seven to seven pounds. Um, it can be ceiling mountable, but in this case we are showing a tabletop portable scenario on that. And for and your call you can't even tell it. Somebody who can't he is on the pen marijuana now, he must he must work it. 